out of your policies, which one do you believe will have biggest impact on the economy and the job creation? Well, I think that we've got to get the fundamentals right. It means fixing our roads, our infrastructure, cleaning up our drinking water, making sure that we close our skills gap from cradle to career, and making Michigan a welcoming place for people. Um, you know, immigrants built this great state that's such an important part of our strength is our diversity, and that's something that is really important to me as a Michigander and as the governor. If Proposal 1, the marijuana initiative passes, what would you do to manage the rollout? How will you manage the potential social effect? So, you know, it's on, it'll be on the next governor to promulgate the rules to keep it out of the hands of children, and that's really important to me. I'm a mom of, of daughters who are in high school, and I want to make sure we get it right to collect the taxes and spend them on health care and education and infrastructure. And um, we need to move forward. We need to write this and learn the lessons from other states who've, who've done it because we want to do it right. We've got an opportunity to get it right. China is Michigan's third largest export market. Under current trade dispute between the U.S. and China, what can you do to prevent and strengthen the market for Michigan companies? We got to get smarter. I think deciding trade policy via Twitter is not smart. We need Congress to have a comprehensive policy, but as a Michigander, I know that um, re good relationships have been built with China, and that's something that I want to expand upon. Where there's an opportunity, I think it's a duty of the governor to make sure that we do it and we do it right. Michiganders, you know, I think have grit. We value family and hard work, and we need a governor who values that and wants to grow our economy.